Hey everyone, I'm Josie Kelly and I currently serve as the 2021-2022 Arkansas FFA State President. And what that means is I get the opportunity to serve alongside four other teammates to um, serve the members of Arkansas FFA around the state. Our year began at the end of April when we were elected into office at the Arkansas FFA State Convention. And after we graduated high school, we headed down here to Camp Couchdale to start our year of service. With the start of 2022, our work has not ended as state officers. So what this looks like is we are still facilitating camps. We are still visiting chapters to um, host workshops. And um, we are in the process of planning for our Arkansas FFA State Convention that will happen this April. Um, but this past weekend, um, we've had a lot going on. We've hosted our last Green Hand Conference. Um, we've gone through our last state officer training and we got to travel to the state capitol and experience CTE Day. Rounding out these last few days, we had the opportunity to travel to the state capitol and experience CTE Day, um, which is a day that celebrates the month of CTE education and gathers all of the CTE programs and those who represent them in one area so as to educate people about what actually happens in those pathways. We had set up a booth to showcase different um, members in the FFA that are truly living out the FFA motto, which is learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve. So with the conclusion of our last Green Hand Conference, our last chance to facilitate in our year of service, um, we rolled straight into our last state officer training. This was also a really great chance for our team to kind of bond and understand how um, this year has affected us in different ways, just based on what messages we wanna say. And um, I think that was really instrumental to our team, um, our team's understanding of each other and how um, this year has impacted us in different ways.